So James, it's been a, a lengthy layoff once you've recovered from that knee injury and here you are. You've got 65 minutes in today against Newport. You must be delighted to be back. Yeah, no, it feels good to get back out on the pitch. Obviously, that's all you want to do as a player is be playing games. And, you know, it's been a frustrating seven months for me. But, you know, it's nice to finally get out there and do what I enjoy most. In terms of the 65 minutes you got, was that the amount you were expecting? Did it exceed expectations? Yeah, I think at first, you know, Maxi said to me, just play 45 minutes and see how I feel there. But I went in at half time and I felt all right. You know, it's a, it was a good first game for me to come back into. You know, it was a, it was a good test and uh, you know, I felt good. I felt strong and I think that's why I played another 20 minutes. And in terms of the next stage of your recovery after this game, is it a case of just keeping an eye on the knee now and making sure there's no reaction? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, make sure it's settled the next 24, 48 hours. Get back in training Thursday and, uh, you know, push on again. Hopefully get another game next week. Get some more minutes underneath, uh, under my belt. Get me feeling uh, fitter and stronger and, and go from there. And in terms of the, the league season, there's seven games <coughs> left. Are you in any way eyeing up a possibility of being involved in the first team squad or... Are you looking more ahead to next season? No, I think you know after today, you know I feel a, a lot more confident going into a game. You know, you you're out of the game for seven months, and all of a sudden you've got to prepare for a game and you know get back into a normal routine. Yeah, and you've obviously been watching the team from the stands this season because of injury. Is it pleasing to say you've joined a club that can push at that top end of the table? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's why I signed here in the summer as well. Is uh, a lot of the players, you know, we're all here for for one reason, which is to to push for promotion. And everyone's working hard at the minute, everyone behind the scenes, the players on the pitch and off the pitch, everyone's putting it in. And I think that's showing on a Saturday. And you obviously won this league in Mansfield, you, you know all about it, having been at the top end with the likes of Cambridge United as well. Do you feel that your experience is just going to come and slot straight into the qualities this team needs? Um, well, yeah, I think anyone who's um, you know there or thereabouts is going to contribute in, in any way. Obviously, it'd be nice for me to get involved if I can um, at some point before the season finishes. Um, you know that's that's what I'm you know I'm here for. I've worked hard the last seven months, as of um, you know the medical team. You know I'm obviously very grateful with Maxi and Neil and Tim, and obviously the gaffer who's been behind me all the way. So I've, you know I've been nothing can give them nothing but praise because obviously they've they've helped me a lot along the way. So it's it's nice to finally get out there and, and enjoy myself and get some minutes. Paul Maxwell and Tim Craig have worked you very hard on the training ground to try and get you fit again. Um, in terms of the mental request that's needed when you have that much time off, has it been you know, a struggle mentally as well or have you dealt with it okay? Yeah, I mean, if mental's the, one of the biggest factors of it all really. You know, you can be as fit as you want, but if you're not mentally strong, you know, I've hit a few walls along the way and it's been tough. You know, the training's really hard. It's, you know, mentally very hard. You've got to push, push the boundaries and push yourself through them pain barriers and it does become quite monotonous, but you've got to get through that and see the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, fortunately, I've had the right people there pushing me and pushing me. And it's, uh, you know, ultimately, it's made me a lot fitter and stronger. And when you do watch the team, are there elements of the games where you think, well, I could contribute in that sense in terms of the qualities you personally have? Uh, yeah, obviously, you always do naturally as a player, but you've, you've got to kind of take yourself away from that because it's easy looking at it from the stands. You know, you do become a fan and you do get nervous watching games and you do be judgmental, but at the end of the day, you've got to respect the players out on the pitch, and uh, I've been there before. It's, uh, it's quite frustrating watching it from the sidelines, but um, it's a lot better when you're playing in there. You don't feel the pressure as much. You feel probably more nervous when you're watching it. And you signed a two-year deal, <coughs> obviously. The majority of that first year has unfortunately um, seen you injured, but there must be a real desire to get out and play in front of the fans in that second year and to make your name known, considering you signed last summer. Yeah, I mean, there's no... There's no uh, line that I've obviously I've not made my debut yet, so it's been it's been quite uh, quite annoying. Obviously, I want to just make my debut and uh, and show the fans obviously what I come here for and what the gaffer signed me for. There's uh, still obviously a lot of uh, time left on my contract, and there's still seven games of the season left. So hopefully, it'll be at some point I'll make my debut and uh, and and get some uh, valued time on this pitch.